Okay, this is going to be a quick demo of my uh, Photoshop CS6 uh, custom brush size sliders. Um, it's basically just a persistent window that sits on top of Photoshop that allows you to resize your brushes, um, eraser, smudge tool, whatever can be resized by um, by a slider up here is basically what it'll it'll work on. Now there's three three different types of sliders and there's four different colors. The colors uh, correspond to the interface appearance: um, black, dark gray, gray, and light gray. So you have um, you have four different colors for whatever theme you're using. So it can, it can kind of more or less blend in. Um, so basically, what this is for is uh, quick resizing your brushes, so you can uh, so you can work faster. Uh, a lot of people use the slider up here. They go up there and click, or they right click and bring up the slider here. Um, there's another version in the brush presets that you can leave up, but it's a pretty big dialog, and um, I prefer to have something that just sits there and I can move it around and do whatever. Um, there's three different versions of sliders. So there is a light version. It's just a slider only. There is um, the slider plus uh, size viewers, and I'll and I'll get into each one of these. And the last one has quick size buttons. Um, first one I'll show you is the just just the slider. Now this goes from one to a thousand, and I can, as you can see, it goes over Photoshop. So we have something important open. Don't put it on top of it. I tend to put mine uh, up here in the top when I'm using a brush, and it goes from one to a thousand. Photoshop. Photoshop goes to 1 to 5,000, but I limit mine to 1,000. Mostly because I don't I don't go that high brush size wise. And you, as you can see, if you look over here to the top left, you'll see it's at 95. Uh, that's where I stopped at that. So basically, you slide this node, and wherever you wherever you stop is what size your brush will change to. Um, this first slider is just a general. It's just just for for uh, quick resizing, you have uh, little markers for where you're at on the slider: one, 250, 500, 750, and 1K. So basically, I can slide this fast when I want. My brush isn't going to change until I let go. So if I let go around 500, you can see my brush changed to 505, and it's really big. And if I let go around 250 uh, marker there, you can see my brush size changes. So it's just a it's just a simple way to to uh, move around the slider and see where you're at. Um, the next the next one I'll show you uh, is the same slider but it has uh, it has text fields that show you where you're at on the slider and it increments by uh, 4 and 5 um, so as you can see 120, 124, 128 um, so you can see where you're at on the slider. Again your brush size doesn't change until you stop. So if I stop at 2 41 here. You see when I let go, or well, I stopped at 250. My brush size changes to 250, so it gives you a, an indication of where you're at on the slider. And let me clear that. And I can pop up here. I can move it around. Go up, go down, and go way up. I might lag a little bit there because I have a big old brush. So basically, that just gives you an indication where you're at. Um, now, if you if you move your your brush size with this slider or your bracket keys or anything like that. Um, these sliders won't update. You see it's at 300 over here to your top left. Mine's still at 279. So I basically just use this to resize. If I need to get down real small once I get under 10, I'll, I will use my brackets. This, like I said, increment, increments by increments and decreases by uh, by 4. So I will use my bracket keys if I'm drawing that small. But mostly I stay over, I stay over 20 and I can just move around to wherever I want. And the last version is the same slider, the same the same size view and it has quick size buttons so it works the same you, you scroll around you can see where you're at you let go your brush size changes you're good to go um, but it has buttons 10 25 50 100 250 500 and 750 and 1k now these are just uh, buttons that you can click if I click it here you see my text changes to 100 my slider moves and my brush size is at 100 and they're really responsive uh, it changes really quick you can move around um, as you can see, simple, easy, effective, works quickly. 
and there you go. Um, I personally use this one because I like to, I like to I like to hit the buttons. I like to jump around when I paint or draw or whatever. And uh, yeah, one more thing: um, these text edit fields here on on both the versions are editable. So if I say if I want to go to 500, I just type a zero in there. My breast size changes as I type, and you see the slider changes as well. And there are messages for if you try to put in like a letter, it won't let you. And it won't let you go over 1,000, which is what my max is out. And you'll get a you'll get an alert telling you it doesn't go over 1,000, and it maxes out at 1,000. Like I said, if you want to go over 1,000, just um, use your bracket keys once you get to 1,000, and you and you can increment really fast. Um, but yeah, there you go. I don't know if anybody uses the text fields, but I put them in there, and you know, I can go to 45 exactly if I want to get there, or. 460 or, or whatever it doesn't really matter and I think the last thing I will show you is if you hit if you touch the node or, or if you just click on the dialog like here and you use your arrow keys on your keyboard you see how the numbers changing up here and your brush size is changing over here um, as you push left or right you can as you can see my brush size is getting bigger and smaller um, as I hold down or tap the arrow keys and it increments by four like I like I said earlier and that's it um, it's pretty simple you have three different versions and you have four different color options I'll show you each one real quick um, this one goes with the light theme uh, this one goes with this theme like I've been using and they open in the middle of your screen you just move it around and this one goes with your dark I will, uh, I'll actually show you this one real quick because this is the one I usually use on a daily basis so as you can see my interface changes and I mean it sits up here. It's not really in the way. You can move it here or wherever, however you paint, and you can use it as you as you go. Um, yeah, and the last one is black, and that goes for the last interface theme. And that's it. And these also work. I will say they also work for your. Let me make some marks here. They also work for or your eraser tool like if I want the eraser tool I can resize that real big real small uh, it works for your smudge tool as well you just have to hit the note if you hit the slider it'll 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 slide so you can you can push it and move it around that way or you can grab the node like I that's how I use it you can use your uh, it works for your smudge tool it works for anything that can be resized like that it'll work for so I mean it doesn't work it works it doesn't work for just brushes you know what I mean it, you can use it for anything that Photoshop resizes so yeah there you go um, I will add installation instructions uh, in the comments I won't do uh, I won't do anything to uh, too difficult it's not too hard to install and I mean you get to it by your extensions just like uh, any other any other extension like that and there you go um, the price is uh, price is pretty cheap I mean it, it's it's not too bad um, there's an option to pay more for it I doubt people will do that but if you want to donate so I can make more stuff or or whatever it doesn't really matter um, any questions or comments you can email me my email address is down below here right there you can email me uh, questions comments any bugs report just just email me I'll fix them and send you a and send you a replacement it shouldn't be shouldn't be too hard to fix anything but so far I haven't found any bugs so yeah if you like it let me know uh, links will be in descriptions and I hope this helps some people